Okay, it's November 30th. It's 7.15 a.m. I'm going to do my uh, video of uh, where I found Sasha in the shed to replace the one that is not in my YouTube videos anymore. So, I um, this goes back to last February. It was very, very cold last winter. I don't know, it must have been in the 20s, 20s to 30s, around end of January, beginning of February. She was missing for about four. I don't know. I don't know how long she was missing. I actually don't know. I thought she was dead, actually. And I don't know what happened to her. I thought she, I thought she got out somehow, and she was just gone. Um, she was missing for four to five days. Um, Monday, February 10th was when I found her. It was towards the evening, like around five o'clock at night. And uh, why did I look in here? I just had a hunch. Um, I just had a hunch, uh, an intuition based on something I saw on the TV. Um, so, um, I went in here, and I didn't see anything. First of all, when you look in here, all you see is garbage, right? So, I pulled some stuff out. This rocking chair, um, and just a bunch of stuff I pulled out. And she was like in, like in here. Like, and, and when I pulled it out, she was like in a space. In here, in the back, in there. And I saw her and I said, wow, you know, Sasha, you know, and uh, then she disappeared again. And uh, I didn't see her and then I was, and then I was pulling more stuff out. Um, Because there was more stuff. Well, this is this is clear here, but in fact, all these branches, these are all excess branches from Sandy, Hurricane Sandy, that just I just never got rid of them. Plus an old swing, an old swing, and I, I stuffed it in there. I stuffed it all in the shed. So this was all all this stuff here, this pile of garbage here, all these um, tree limbs. And the swing uh, that my mother had, and it just like rotted and uh, you know fell apart. And so I just like took it all apart, uh, the rest of it, and put some of it in here. I couldn't even fit all of it in here. So anyway, so I had a bunch of tree limbs and stuff up here. So I didn't even know where she went, and then I didn't see her here. I didn't know where she went. So I pulled out all these tree limbs, um, and she was sitting up here on the shelf here on the shelf. So I ran into the house and got the uh, cat carrier, came back out and I I put her in the carrier. Um, and uh, you know I was just amazed that, that I found her. But um, she was very like um, um, Yeah, I, um, I, I, what's the, like, nervous, like, sort of, like, um, not nervous, like, shaking, like, you know, like, um, sort of shaking a little bit, like, all night long, but anyway, so, so that's where she was, right in here, and I sort of climbed up, I couldn't really, I still couldn't access it, so, and I sort of climbed up on some of this garbage here and I got her out, but that's okay. So that's where she was. So, and um, there's still some leaves and stuff on the ground. Um, which I, you know, I don't have any you know, lawn and leaf bags. I guess I can just throw them out or I have a couple of cans or I don't know. But. Um, 
I was trying to um, do some yard work the other day. And so this is uh, this is part of this tree that was cut down, see? This tree up here was cut down. The neighbor next door cut that down. It was leaning into this tree. This tree here was almost on the ground. The leaves are on the branches and the leaves are almost on the ground. And I had all my flood trash right there and it was like I couldn't reach my flood trash to take it out to the street. I had to do it in stages. First I threw it at the back door. Then I pulled it halfway down the yard. Then I got it out to the curb. And I, I, I did it gradually. But anyway, so that's uh, that's the whole thing. That's uh, where I found Sasha.